Hello, welcome to the overview video for the DTC Vibration Control System Sign software. If you've watched the random software demonstration, you will see some very similar features. We are on the main screen in the DTC software. Let's click on the icon for sign testing. This takes us into the sign control software module. We have a default test profile that pops up that you can see here on the graph. We have all of these icons across the top. You can hover e over each one and see what they, the different ones do. Similar to the random demonstration, we have in the sign software the system configuration. And these are the same configuration settings that you saw in the global parameters in the DTC general overview video. We have the icon for setting up the channels or editing the channels. Keep in mind, when we do this from the icon within the sign software module, the changes only apply to the sign tests. If we set them up in the global configuration, they apply to all tests. So any changes we make here will only apply to the tests that we're running. We have the control parameters icon here. And similar to what we saw in random, we have some general parameters, some running parameters that we can set, uh, the filters for the tracking filters, and some startup parameters uh, dealing with the output voltages and the startup of the test. We see a tab here for safety parameters. Uh, this is the startup check. This is a 0.5 volt as the default and that's uh, voltage out from the controller to the amplifier. Uh, maximum of 10 volts output during running mode, that would be the full range output of the controller. Again, you could reduce that value if you wanted for safety's sake. Let's get into the actual definition of a test. So if I click this icon for edit test, we see across the top an acceleration profile graph velocity and displacement. That's based on what's entered here as the default breakpoints for the sign sweep test. We can insert additional breakpoints. So let's say I want to point in between 5 Hertz and 200 Hertz. I can simply key that in. We can set based on displacement or acceleration control or velocity control. And we can see there's drop down selections here. Similar to random, we could import a breakpoint table for a sign test. We can append and add frequencies off the end. We could delete lines in here if we want. And there's a default sample frequency rate, 25,600 hertz sample rate. The next tab is the limits. This shows us all these nice green values and percentages. And this is uh, the percent of the maximum capability of our selected shaker system. Again, we set up the shaker uh, in our other tutorial video. Uh, that talks about the overall setup of the DTC controller. So you can see this test profile is well within the capabilities of our shaker. Uh, the next tab is the sweep speed. So how fast do we want to do our sign sweep? We can insert additional steps and have different speeds between different breakpoints if we so choose. You can set uh, the octave per minute uh, rate. Next tab, we have the uh, default compression factor. Again, we can leave the defaults. And anytime we come into trouble, maybe with high Q resonance, so very sharp resonance, uh, we may need to come in and make some adjustments here. Defaults should work. Down here at the bottom, we have this help button on any one of these screens. 
it will take us into the appropriate section of the help file that talks about our editing test setup. So we can go through and we'll see each of the tabs, all of the different values. So it's a very handy help file. And the final tab here is the schedule. And this is where we define how long we want to run our test. If I look at the drop down here, we can do sweep, we can do resumes and dwells and pauses and different things. But that is basically it to define our sign test. So I hit start. My data acquisition and output control hardware is resetting and preparing to run our test. Now I believe I had my default set to start. Yes, I had it set to start at 100 hertz on my sign sweep even though the low frequency of my breakpoint table is 5 hertz. So in this instance, in my schedule, I say sweep up from 100 hertz. So it'll sweep up to 2,000, then I'll sweep down to 5 hertz, and it'll continue the sweeps back and forth for as long as I have defined my test. If I look at the uh, menu at the top for window, we have this big text window. I really like this. Uh, right now it's showing GPEAK. If I right click on it, I can select different channels. I can add different, I can add a column to it. And change the setup of this. Uh, right now it's it's showing me uh, some peak values. If I go to statistics, I'll say, you know what, I actually uh, want to see my peak to peak. If I go to run status, I can look at frequency. So now if I'm across the room evaluating a test sample under test, I could have this up on my screen and easily see what frequency I'm at and what my amplitude is. And across the top, we have these tabs, so I can easily go back and look at my graphs. And I can see my test sweeping along. So this is the basic setup for a sign test. Uh, if you want more details, uh, I encourage you to check out some of the future videos that, that we'll put out. Or you could contact your local representative for the DTC vibration control systems to schedule a more in-depth overview. Thank you for taking time to watch.